with an unusually uh, long reach. Five inch reach advantage with those long arms at yesterday's weigh in both below the 140 limit fight time weights judah a plus two 140 will let 146 a plus six and a half key rules for this title so 12 rounds of boxing for the ibf junior welterweight championship of the world and now ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world live from mohegan sun casino it's showtime Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks and joining us from St. Louis, Missouri. He weighed in at a ready 139 and one half pounds. With a record of 22 wins, one loss and one draw, he has 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the number one contender and the former IBF junior welterweight champion of the world, introducing the Tehran Tramp Millet. And his opponent across the ring on my right, the defending champion fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver trunks with black trim, fighting out of his home, Brooklyn, New York. He weighed in at a trim and ready 138 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 23 wins, no losses, one no contest, and 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the IBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, the undefeated Zab Super Judah. Once again, a referee in charge now to give instructions, Michael Ortega. Zab's got the whole borough here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right here. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room on a good, clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Seconds, look at the trunks here. Here up is good. Keep seconds. Think from here up is good. Okay? Touch them up. It looks about you. Michael Ortega, the son of former waterway great Gaspar Ortega, for Carmen Basilio, Emil Griffith, Kid Gavilan, Zab Judah, the sharp southpaw with the heavy hands, the strong left and the big right uppercut. Keep an eye on that one. Taran Millette, a very good athlete, aggressive brawler, terrific hand speed, power in both hands, and he looks for the bomb. Here we go. Those two rounds will be very important, Steve, of who can set the tone to implement their style. Judah in the silver trunks, Millet in the black. Millet realizes, of course, Judah has the quick hands and the nice uppercuts, but he says he will adjust to what the southpaw brings. said I look at this as my first world title fight after the fight I'll be able to say I beat a world champion approaches the fight with the idea he's the matador Millet's the bull he's the elusive one it's strength versus technique well you can be pretty sure Millet's gonna be coming for him that's something Millet loves to do yeah he knows Millet is coming into swing that Millet is strong a bomber but he doesn't feel that Millet is as skillful a technician as he is it's already evident to me that Millet's gonna need to make some adjustments regarding the speed Speed right now, big factor. It's going to be a big problem for Millet. He's going to have to do something, maybe around the body. And Millet never really oh, answered us about the current up. status of his injured right hand, but showed us a knot on the top of the hand, said he still had a screw in the hand. You know, I had a similar injury, but what I had was a bone fusion. He had his bone screwed together. Millet just got wobbled momentarily. Fast for the left. Speed is the big factor right here. Speed versus strength. Oh, no, break. Oh. Oh, I thought 
got it, I got it. Okay, listen up on the brake. You hit him on the brake. Okay, listen up. No hitting on the brake to Teron Millett from Michael Ortega out of Hamburg, Connecticut. Judah, wheeling away, left and right to the head of Millett. much more hurt and there you see Judah walks right into the left hook he just walks right into it Millette throwing hard here from the overhead he's losing the sequence here you see Millette after the knockdown doing what he was doing before the knockdown dominating Judah in the left but he's doing his feet see round two scheduled for 12 Zab Judah down in the first round after he was dominated Chez, how do you score that round? You know what, Zed wins most of the rounds so he gets knocked down. So you could call it 9-8 or 10-9 for Millette. Millette still wins the round because it's knocked down. Some of the judges might have a 10-8. It's, it's, it's a one-point round or a two-point round. That is very discretionary with the judges. Joda looks to be a little more cautious, as you might understand right now. He knows he just can't stand in front of this guy with the heavy hands, Millet. Millet highly motivated, as is Judah. Millet looking to win back, recapture his old title. And he was stripped off. Okay, in his fight against John Bergman, he got a little careless. Coming in, this fight he got a little too excited, a little too anxious. Not much of a difference in what he did with his hands, and has come down. Chin hanging out. And you really have to wonder what the victories over Jan Bergman and Junior Winter really mean. Teron Millett just feels that Judah has not fought the good fighters to get to where he is and that he has. You know, so he's trying to prove a point. Steve, I can look in the eyes of both of these fighters. Right now, Millett doesn't have the same look he had when he started, and he dropped the champion. His look is not the same as it was when he started, and Judah's is back to where he started. Maybe Millet in somewhat disbelief that he did what he did in that first round. Yeah, but I think the disbelief not was, wasn't the knockdown. The disbelief was the fact that he got hurt so often by Judah that he hasn't adjusted to that speed as quickly as he thought he could. Under a minute remaining in round two. Action packed. <laughs> Yeah. Look, you got to go to the 
a nap, you can't sit there and wait on me, son. Dump up on your dad and bring your feet up and keep it working. You sitting there too long, you letting the pot shut. He dictating. You can't let him dictate. You have to do your step in and with your stuff. Come on, come on. Keep your hands moving. Breathe from This is the classic one, two, except it's from the southpaw side. Jab, left hand, right down the middle. And Millette never even really acknowledged that he sees it. He just walks right into it. Bang. 